Hello, welcome to the Zebra BI for Power BI product update. This new Zebra BI for Power BI visuals are live and we have delivered some highly anticipated new features, UX design upgrades and improved the overall behavior of all three visuals. Now let's take a look at the new features. The new tables have the option to display basis points on absolute variances. This should really help you to convey the right message when explaining elements such as margins, which in large companies can drop or grow by a fraction of a percent and still represent an impactful change in terms of volume. So instead of saying the change was 0.2 or 1.2%, you would say the change was 20 basis points or 120 basis points. To quote one of our users, you don't grow margins by thousands of percents in big companies, but every basis point matters. So hopefully this new feature will help provide clarity for all the users within the organization so the communication would run smoothly. Now let's take a look at how to apply the new settings. You will find the new settings in the format pane of the tables. So under data labels, you have now a new toggle called use basis points format. You simply toggle it on and now you can also rename the basis points maybe to BPS, also maybe remove the percentage points decimals. And in addition to that, you now have one more toggle to suppress the relative variances and make it absolutely clear that you are only interested in the basis points and conveying the right message in terms of percentages. We know that attention to detail is key when conveying the right message. So this should really enable all of you that speak in terms of basis points to do exactly that. <laughs> 